What is up, you guys? What is up? King of Lightning gonna give you guys this week Fairy Tale Chapter 257, uh, Father Seven Years. So, um, well, actually, no. Before I start off with the chapter, because it is four o'clock in the fucking morning, um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Ramya Kujote. Now, this guy is a he does manga reviews, you know, just like me, ju j just like a bunch of other people on YouTube. But he does okay. So he does Fairy Tale. He does Naruto. He does Bleach. And then he does Yu-Gi-Oh. He does Yu-Gi-Oh. So if you guys enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, hit him up, okay? I I, I believe he, he does the the the, the Yu-Gi-Oh anime. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So hit him up. Oh, and also he does games. Uh, he does gaming games. Like he like reviews games too. So hit him up, Ramen Q uh, Jote. Really cool guy. Uh, right there, bamboo. Look in the video somewhere. Click somewhere, it'll be I, I don't know where. Just click. Um, anyway, so let me get on to the actual like review itself because just this chapter fairy tale actually was not that bad, okay. And, and again, I will get into it later during the review. But first of all, in this chapter we start off with uh, Lucy just found out that her father died uh, two months before, and she winds up going to the cemetery where not only her father's grave is there. But her mother's as well. So she's looking at both of her parents' graves. And then these two chicks wind up passing by. And then they're talking about how, like, they don't like their fathers because, like, their fathers are annoying. And then they wish that they were dead. And then it actually hurt Lucy emotionally because, you know, like, here she never had an opportunity to actually be, you know, like, she actually never had the opportunity to, like, enjoy her life with her father. So, you know, it hurt her a lot. So... And then Natsu says something stupid, you know, just being fucking Natsu, trying to make Lucy feel better. And then, I mean, I mean, it was kind of like a sad comic relief moment with Natsu and Lucy. But, I mean, ultimately speaking, it was for the sad moment. It was for the tears. But she was saying how she couldn't really cry, you know. She, she, she couldn't cry. There were no tears coming out because, you know, I mean, I forgot exactly what happened, why she couldn't cry at that moment. But um, something was like emotionally like affecting her where she where she just couldn't cry. So then we get into okay, then we get into Twilight Ogre because um, Makarov, uh, Mary Jane, and Erza they are now in uh, Twilight Ogre because they're discussing about the money payments that Fairy Tale owe Twilight Ogre. And then what wound up happening is basically Makarov, Erza, and fucking Mary Jane just go on a rampage and wind up destroying Twilight Ogre because of the seven years of damage that Twilight Ogre has caused to like fairy tale and the furniture, and then the seven years of like tears and then and, and, and all this kind of stuff. Okay. Makarov did have like a badass face at the end, you know. Like freaking, you know, like I forgot what he said, but it, I'm not like it, it was a badass face. It was really a badass face. And um the thing is, is that I was hoping that Twilight Ogre would at least be, you know, like, somewhat legit, but I guess not. I mean, it is fairy tale, and then uh, Rami Q. Jote, actually, in his review of fairy tale last week, he did state that, you know, like, fairy tale was, like, one of the, like, top tier guilds in, like, all of Fiora. So, it kind of makes sense to me. I mean, I was hoping that they would work their way up. You know, back to that status, and I'm pretty sure they will have to. But you know, them just taking out Twilight Ogre like that, I'm like, fuck. You know, like I was hoping that Twilight Ogre, Twilight Ogre would actually someone be like legit. So anyway, um, but no, no, but it's still cool. You know, like it really is cool if they would actually like work their way back up. But anyway, um, and then we get back to Lucy, and then Lucy is no, no, actually no, no, like before that, like. Natsu and Happy come back. They're back in, uh, I forgot the town's name. And then, uh, they wind up, like, in front of, like, Twilight Ogre. And, like, they're mad depressed and shit. And then they get to Lucy. And then Lucy gets picked up by, like, like she's in the park, like, really depressed. And then the, uh, the, uh, the hotel owner, she just comes out of nowhere. Just grabs her. Takes her to a room. Chucks her in there. The room is all nice and clean, all spotless. And then what winds up happening is that she looks on her bed, and then there were like a bunch of presents there. And then her pre and then apparently her father sent her gifts every year that her birthday passed. So there's like an accumulation of there's like an accumulation of presents on her bed. 
And then, you know, like the hotel owner tells her that a letter just came in recently. And so, uh, what happens is that Lucy reads the letter, and then it's basically... And this was actually a really sad moment. I'm not gonna lie. It was really sad. Because Lucy is reading the letter that her father sent her, basically saying, you know, like, I'm really happy that you're my daughter. I wish that I could spend a lot of time for you. Like, I hope you're happy. I was really worried. I was really... You know, like I was like I was really worried when I heard that you that you disappeared, but I kept the faith. I kept on believing that, you know, that you were still alive, that you were still there. And, you know, like that's why he, he kept on saying the presence because he knew he felt that Lucy was going to return. And, you know, like it, it was a really sad, tearful moment. And I actually I actually respect that moment. So, yeah. And then at the end of the chapter, Natsu is basically by realizing realizing that, you know, like he also like has to do something about like his food because he has no fucking money either. So, you know, he's basically gonna go on a mission and then as Lucy basically cries her eyes out in the fucking room, and then like he's gonna he's, he's gonna go on a mission, get some money, and then uh next chapter is called Sabretooth, and that's it. So Ultimately speaking, this chapter was really sad, really emotional. You feel something for Lucy because Lucy, you know, is a character who has been through a lot throughout the entire series with her family. And here she is, you know, wanting to make up, wanting to amend the ties between her father and herself. And she just never, she never had, she never had the, like, the, like, legitimate chance to. So anyway, it was a solid chapter. I'll give it that. Uh, so King Lightning signing off. I'll see you guys next week for uh, next week for Fairy Tale Chapter Two Fifty Eight. I'll see you guys later.